guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be painting my kitchen and I am super stoked because it is something I have been wanting to do for Ever. If you guys are new here, this is my kitchen renovation series and I have already done two previous videos which I'll be sure to link in the description below. It is a subway tile backsplash as well as my kitchen cabinet makeover. So here my son Andrew is helping me take down my curtains so I can get started painting. The color I'm going to be using today is a white metal gray that is a white, I said that kind of fast there, white metal gray in the bare marquee paint. It is a one coat paint which is amazing. It has great durability. I can wash it. The kids can play. It is fantastic. But to begin, I have to get these walls clean. So I'm going to start off with my Tide and Bleach hot, hot water, use my spin mop and get these walls clean. It is the perfect trick and easiest way to clean a large surface wall in a limited amount of time. Now that the walls are all clean, I can go ahead and start painting. The worst part of anything is edging out and I would rather do this than sit there and tape because it would take me forever to tape this, probably add on a good extra hour, hour and a half maybe, so I'm taking my sweet time with a little brush as well as a bigger one to make sure I have a good border so when I'm able to roll and getting nice and tight in the top of these cabinets because this kitchen was made in the 90s when this house was built and they didn't have anything fancy to the ceiling so there is this about inch and a half gap above the cabinets which I have to get and oh, it's so tricky guys. <laughs>
film this, I actually went to the local hardware store to do a curbside pickup because here in Ontario, we are on a lockdown and essential items are all we are allowed to get unless we do a curbside pickup with the store. Crazy, eh guys? So I picked up a five new covers and two of them did not fit. I actually need to get oversized covers. HomeDepot.ca was driving me bonkers. I don't know where to look on the Canadian Tire website. So I tried to spray paint them with something I had on hand and it wasn't working. Those ones I am going to have to replace at a different date when all this crazy lockdown is done with. But the other ones I was able to put up once the paint dried and they look so good. It is crazy with the finishing touches and the extra little things that you can do to make a space look that much better.
spot guys i was actually on top of my refrigerator and chris had passed me the paint up to the top it was a balancing act that is for sure if you guys are enjoying this video give it a thumbs up if you guys are watching this for the first time i would love for you to hit that subscribe button my next video that has to do with my kitchen renovation that will be in this series is going to be my epoxy counters i am super stoked i'm going to be taking my blah 90s laminate counters and going to make them look like beautiful marble masterpieces <laughs> Doesn't this kitchen look fantastic? It is crazy what a little bit of paint can do. And when I say little, I mean little. I barely use half a can of that paint. I'm telling you, the Bear Marquee is the brand to go with. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoy all these renovation videos that I'm doing. I am having so much fun painting, creating, changing up DIYing things it has been a blast don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys next time